right, so we go here to my cousin, and I go twi twitch.tv forward slash your hero Wilgus. No, T W I T C H, twitch.tv forward slash. Uh, your hero, Wilgus. That's what I wanted. How do I... How do I unsend this one? Delete. 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 Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's see how we can get this going. Oh, I can actually come up to my... Twitch mobile stream uh, thing, and I think I go live on the photo. I press and hold. Live. There we go. And sh no, don't share a clip. Copy link. Link copied. Go up to Twitter. Hit that new. Paste. Hanging out, doing some unboxing with some friends. Excited to see what we can find. Let's do that. Instagram, I'll just pop on here really quick and just put, I guess, a photo. I don't even know how long we're going to be on here. Camera. Hanging out, doing some stuff at twitch.tv forward slash your hero Wilgus. Come on down, we got some fun unboxing. Can't wait to see ya. Ooh! Now if I go to link, twitch.tv forward slash... Your hero, Wilgus, is correct. Put that right there. Uh, bam, do I parkour? Sweet. Uh, let me tell. Here we go. Heading online. Did I paste? Oh god. Let's get rid of that. Yo, we got Cory up in the biz. Oh my god, dude, what is up, dude? It's good to see you, my man. Uh, let's see. Twitch. I'm trying to share some stuff, so if we can, if you could actually do me a favor, if you want to share me with this, twitch.tv forward slash your hero Wilgus. Uh, I should actually put this on my. Ah, copy, share, go to Facebook. I'm going to post that on there and see if anybody can actually come on in and join. Ah, don't do that. I'm genuinely curious about what we can get here. Boom, Twitch, bam. Boom, all right, we'll see how that goes. Twitch, we're back in here. Hold that. Pull up. Screen manager, there we go. Oh my god. Dude, good to see ya. Uh, close that. Oh my goodness. So yes, dude. Good to be back. Um Oh, do I have a sticker on my my sock? Anywho, that's not what I'm trying to talk about, boo boo. I'm excited because we actually are getting a chance to hang out. Dude, it has been two weeks since the last time I was online. And it has been a minute, dude. Quite the adventure. Lots of change. Uh, one of the biggest being... Uh, I don't have glasses anymore. Uh, by choice. Because I was able to go ahead and... Uh, get that LASIK. So, super excited. Uh, we are in the healing process. Uh, weirdly enough... For the first two days, I didn't have any actual extreme pain. I didn't need to use any of the uh, anesthesia 
to numb any of the pain. Like, I'll admit, like, right now my eyes do hurt. And, uh, mm, there are moments of pain. But, let's see. Yo, it's great to have you back. Oh, Davo's inside, too. Okay, things being weird. I'll try to share still. Lol, and congrats, congrats. I like it, I like it. Things being weird. Hells yeah. Ooh, feels good to be back. Good to see y'all in the chat. I am excited. Because now that um, I'm back, it's going to be the ball. Well, the ball is going to be slowly rolling because this is a time of recovery. One of the biggest things about this right now. I mean, I literally just had to laser cut my eyeball and shape it into a way that I can see again. Uh, I'll stop by later if you're still on. I'm going to pick up my mom, your... Yeah, I should probably be on for a little bit. Oh, I can tell you're surprised now. LOL, looking great though. Yeah. <laughs> One of the hardest things I'm going to have to get used to, first off, is maintaining big eyes. You know, not looking like I'm too shocked all the time. But now... Um, translating that emotion and making sure that it's a natural kind of of guiding because now i can use my head to turn around and look at things i don't have to use my eyes and move the entire head to do that um i can tell you're surprised now looking great and say i'm at level 100 on elden oh i hate you so much oh you've surpassed me already i think i'm barely at like what 65 ah uh... <laughs> and understand i'm so anxious to play right now but i can't because my eyes hurt and i know i'm gonna need every little bit of muscle twitch in order to make sure i can dip dive and dodge all those bastards uh but i'm excited so uh cory also uh somebody had reached out to me about a potential commercial gig and i want to send that to you so that way you're interested check it out it's coming up very soon it might be paid uh so boom check your email and then i've also got to um hey siri remind me tomorrow to call bizarre modeling agency to figure out a meeting okay your reminder is set for tomorrow okay so that's one thing i'm gonna have to do uh, very excited. They contacted me over uh, during my trip in Mexico while I was trying to get my eyes done. And I had reached out to them, even though I've gone there twice. So now they've reached back to me, and I don't know. Something might possibly come from that. So I think that'll be very fun. Surprise payback for being a bully since I still wear glasses. Oh, snap. It's a maybe. Wait, 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 wait. Bad Wilgus, talk to me first. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just got the information right now. Uh, one of my good friends, one of the fellow crew members of the Will Gang, ended up sending me a um, casting call. Yeah, so uh, I, I just got the info. Send a guy DM, uh, Dopamine Productions. And uh, yeah, you'll read that info on the picture and stuff. And boom, 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 boom. I think you need a headshot, which I know you don't have. Just send your link on your Instagram page something current for you which you got and uh yeah we'll see how that goes um oh moments of pain okay i could also get my glasses We can, we can roll like this for a second. Go some Daredevil-esque. Uh, I need red ones, actually. So that is <laughs> going to be the next purchase. Uh, yeah, so boom. Check that out, Corey. Uh, I think that'll be a very uh, cool thing for us. Uh, if that works, sweet, right? Uh, time Master. Oh, God. Uh, le uh, oh, Lord. Let's shoot... 
That'll be nice. We can get ready for lunch there. So what am I trying to do? Uh, Davo is going to be taking off, so he's not going to get a chance to see some of this stuff. But Corey, you might actually get a chance. Get Miriam on here. And Andy, uh, let me get these people on here and say... Let's see, I figured that much my friend but still wanted an invitation to you. Uh, I'm on Twitch, so I'm extending that in invitation to you. Paste. No. Paste. Do you want to see how big my letters are on this thing? Look, this is how big my words have to be because I can't see anything. I am literally that blind right now in the recovery process that they need to be this big <laughs> for me to see them. <laughs> and I love it. Um, I will say, oh, it doesn't really help matter too much on the, uh, oops. That, boom. I still love the fact that Miriam has killed, did I kill Miriam in the game yet? Corey? Did I get my revenge on her, or is she still at the upside down uh, tower? A look, I'll look into the gig, but about the bizarre thing and modeling stuff, talk to me when you can about it. On here is probably not best. I gotta look out for you, so let me know what's going on and whatnot. No, you died and left. Okay, cool. At least you remember. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you understand how bad Miriam could just fucking wreck. Wait, have you gotten to Miriam yet? You can see my excited face now. Oh! <laughs> uh, um, yes, we'll chit-chat about that soon. I am excited to hear what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. But, yeah, have you gotten into Miriam yet? That's a bad way of phrasing. Have you fought Miriam yet? Uh, why do I feel like I have that? Okay, anyways. I may temporarily step away, but in the meantime, let's take a look at a few things that I'm excited that I may have picked up. While on the trip, uh, of course, I was able to kind of... It was 14 days, dude, that I was about gone. And so uh, I was very surprised, hoping that I might be able to pick up uh, some interesting things over this course of some time. And one of them I'm excited for is this portion, which is going to be interesting to see how I can get it to show you. Okay, what's this? So how else has your, like, week's been going, my man? I'm curious. I would love to hear what's going on and what's new. Um, okay. Like that. And grab this, I'm sure, and just kind of tuck it in. Okay, cool. Got a big ass shiny head. Ah, uh, Laya Itzy here. Ah, oh, just now, kid. Radagon Red Wolf. Ooh, nice. Like two seconds ago. And I did find Miriam, but decided not to deal with her yet since I wasn't supposed to be there just yet. Smart move. But I see Miriam and I attack because that's just out of sheer respect. That's how much I care for, for Miriam and uh, I want to see her die. By my hands, of course. Nobody else. Only I get to take her out. Now, uh, let's see here. Now I actually have glasses and I can start wearing something like, uh, like this. Let's see? Are, are. Oh. And already we see what we're looking at. Okay, I think it goes down like that. Hoo hoo. <laughs> we can kick, kick that up behind the ear. You can still see the ear. There we go. Kick that out a little bit on the side. And, uh, shit. How's this go? 
Boom. Right? Is that how is that how it goes? <laughs> Ooh. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. But I mean, my intelligence is at 62 now, so I can use the big old moon soon. <gasps> oh, look at you. Oi, 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 Cory. Starting to use a little bit of that moonshine, aren't you? <laughs> Dude. The benefit about this is that I can actually still see you. And... Oh, imagine just like right there, just some blue contacts, like sick, sick, amazing blue contacts. Let's do it. So that's dope. Uh, very excited. Wouldn't have to worry about any curse technique stuff. Probably not an issue either. We can just start doing some cool stuff. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh makes sense since i need to still get magic lady first oh dude i heard that the magic lady my one the one that ends up well, you'll see i think there's like a really fun uh whole entire thing on that sense so ooh, okay so this this is nice um what if i did this Okay, so right before I step out, temporarily, you tell me, guys, are we feeling a little bit of some, I mean, minus the whole entire whore, big ass bushy beard that we got going, but, wow, let's see, yes, oh my god, on my way, okay, BRB real quick, guys, I need to check something.
Oh my god. Okay. So, I apologize for that, everybody. A little bit of a uh, detour. But, good thing is, uh... It's amazing. Even with some slight adjustments like that, boom. I'm sure I can start maybe messing around with it in the back. Doesn't make it look too bad, but... <laughs> Alright, so... That's number one. And needless to say, I am very excited for Gojo. Like, oh my god, I just cannot wait. So we've got... That is very cool. I can take the glasses off, which is very similar to what I was wearing already before, but actually... Only slightly bigger. So, dopeness. Okay, so we've got interesting choices for shades there. God, it's hot. Uh, what's next? I did get this one from my mom. Well, she ended up surprising me with a... Kuro Neko. Kelly Toy. Jazzwares come. Oh, it's my Jazzwares! That's cool. They used to make Mega Man toys, that I remember. Uh, I used to have a black hat back when I was younger. And... She was my kitty. She had a little white spot right here on her belly and on her chest, and she was my kitty cat. So, definitely I'm going to put this one someplace around. Uh, so next, not sure what we've got coming in. If it's not mistaken, it could be my other Gojo uh, cosplay. This one's going to be interesting because originally when I got my eye surgery, I was hoping to try to find something like a black bandana. And now I've got something like this, where I can be able to just... Which, of course, now I'm blind. I can't see what you guys are seeing, so this might be interesting. But... Gotta be very interested... Or careful on, I guess, how to get this wig out. Because this one is a different. Oh, maybe because it's. You're supposed to like flip it on. I don't remember. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, uh, did it come with a hair thingy? No, I guess I'll just use this other one. Works that way, I guess. Yeah, because this one's going to be all tucked in on the inside. That might not really matter. If I push that in. <laughs> oh, cool. So then it's just kind of like a... Up. Down. Up a little. Stuff is going to go up. That. And. I'm very confident I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> ah. 
up. That looks like it was more pushed back like that. that and then. I feel like maybe it might be a bit more. I'm gonna need some help to try to get this up and running. See it in the. Nope. This isn't working out as well as I was hoping. So, I like the headband. I just don't know how the rest of it is working. At which point that's going to be your all's help when I come back later to check it. So we'll see. We've got a little bit of some twists on the side. I'm sure the side could use a lot more help. Interesting. So we'll see how that goes. But if not, I mean, this was going to be my idea for my, uh, <laughs> for while I have protection from the sun, I can go ahead and wear my nice little, uh, my, my blindfolds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love it. All right. Well, that's a start. So I'll definitely take a peek later. That does look pretty sweet. All right. Not too shabby what is this this is modern essentials i don't remember buying whatever this is i'm kind of scared on how to open it So that's fun. I am super excited. The Gojo Satoru cosplay should be coming in and ready by June. So that's going to be... Okay. Yes. Okay. So... Ba -da 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 -da. If this is what I think it is, this is just like a splurge kind of a thing. I had it in my shopping cart on Amazon for a while, and it's one of those treat yourselves. Like, you think you might want it, and you know what? There's no reason for you to get this. And when you do get it, you're going to be like, you know what? Maybe I'm just a little happier by getting that. And... <sighs> what we have... <laughs> is uh genesis norlax gold secret rare sword and shield chilling rain card custom metal and starts off oh my god first off you want to talk about fanciness that's some gold that's some gold plated right there that's fan that's fancy. That's a fancy Snorlax, but it doesn't even end there. Look at that fat, beautiful boy. Look at that shine. That poppin' blue. Oh my god. <laughs> Ten bucks. That's all it was. Ten dollars. And I got me a a badass shiny custom gold Snorlax. Nothing too crazy. I mean nothing too crazy. It's beautiful, dude. Like 
ideally I would be able to come down into the, I would love to be able to go into the Pokemon I will be able to possibly go to the Pokemon store this new this year in New York and when I'm down there I'll have this bad boy come out and be like oh what's your favorite Pokemon oh, sorry. excuse me I, I have exactly the this boy do you have any more of this boy I need more show me here here's my card there we go that'll look uh That'll be the intro to like. Ah. Thank you. You know who I am now. <laughs> I would laugh if it was actually metal still to stick on there. Oh my god. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, so we do have that. What was upsetting though is I have to actually double check my post office uh, new one because I was told my Mega Man Vinyl Legends, Mega Man Legends 2 vinyl record uh, made it into delivery, but I didn't see it and I had confirmation so I'm really upset that it's not here. Um, What? Oh! This is my dad's. Okay. I was like, this is not mine. This is very curious. Okay, this is not my mail. That's cool. But we're not done yet. We've actually got a uh, oh. wrapped. Uh, oh, it had its own. Whoopsie! It did have its own headband thingy. Put that there. Oh, dude, I just love this. Really does make me look like a gimp, but he was just, eh, well. I mean, it's not bad. There we go. Close enough. We got those done. Could have swore it was something like that, wasn't it? I think it was this finger. I thought it was the middle. Yeah, it's like the. I forget. Jeez, which one is this? Your finger. There we go. It is the middle finger over the pointing. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. Anyways. Mm, okay. Next. <laughs> ah. Ah. So... This is going to be interesting. Oh, don't worry about it, Corey. I'll see you in a bit. This one is the SH Figure Art Simple Style and Heroic Action Son Goku's Harahara Hachi Bunme Set. It's got made for uh, supermodeling. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different bottles, uh, five different dishes, a ton of stack of stuff, some background pieces. Hands with forks and chopsticks, a face that's eating food, and another hand uh, meant to be a lot more descriptive and like a lot more decorative with my figures, which... I'm excited because I was at my local pawn shop, of all places, and I was able to find this figure for 45 bucks uh normal price if i'm not mistaken goes for 70 
uh, online. But I was able to get a... Now I can be able to use both these combined. So I can have super regular Goku eating at a fancy table with possibly other stuff that I have as well as other figures like Mega Man or any of my other fancy food stuff that I've gotten from the Remance. I can throw them onto this as well, which is going to make my figure reviews a little bit more funnier because I think then I can actually start seeing like, all right, could they eat together? Could they pose together? Uh, which pawn shop was it? Ah, let's go ahead and see. Oh, I don't have to accept that one. It was over in uh, Benny's Pawn Shop on Zaragoza. They still had, I think, a Super Saiyan Goku God version, the red one. And that one was just going, that was the same regular price that you could have found it online, so it wasn't a big steal for me. Uh, it could still be there, but, you know, again, if I have a little bit more free money and it's still there, I could possibly see me wanting to go and pick it up because then I could have uh, blue Goku, red Goku, and all of them eating uh, at the same one, which will be pretty interesting. Uh, so this was a nice pickup um, from e oh, sorry, not from eBay. This one was a pickup from a pawn shop, so always take a look at what you have around you. And this was available at Big Bad Toy Store uh, for a price of around 35 about the same price I was going to find on eBay. So they did really well. And it's priced the same, actually, while I was down in Torreon, in Mexico. They had a small little uh, anime shop, and they were selling the same thing, too, uh, for maybe a couple of dollars more. But I already had mine on the way, so uh, I'll race you for it. <laughs> there you go, kid. Let's see who, if you do get it, tell me in the tell me in the chat next time. Or maybe somebody's already picked it up. This was maybe three weeks ago because um, I'd been out of country for about two while I got my operation done for my eyes so you never know what's there my man alright so we're gonna put I don't like that okay so we'll definitely take a look at that and we've got Stuff, stuff that I could definitely use later. Ooh, clean your boxes. Also glad to have you in the chat for the first time, my friend. Never say never. Uh, hey, and you know, you'd be very surprised as well if you're also in El Paso. Um, go to the uh, Black Friday. There's three different locations, and I think there's a new sh shop that is opening up soon that does the same similar thing where it costs uh, a little higher, about like 15 on the first day, and then progressively gets lower and lower and lower. But that's because you have less and less things to choose from. So um, I've picked up some fantastic things from there, and I really genuinely should take advantage of that with this next two weeks that I'm off. Uh, so let's continue on in some of the unboxings that we've got going, because uh, the eyes are getting a little tired. I don't think I put my eye drops in anyways. Actually, here. Let's do that first. Y'all are gonna get to laugh at me. I think I still have... Yeah, this one is... Oh, actually, that did work. Okay. And that is all she wrote with that one. Okay, that one's empty. Ah. What other figures do you collect? Ah, uh, sorry. Hard to see. <laughs> I can do this. Kitty? Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ah, oh, okay, so the other eye. What other figures do you yourself collect? Are you a Fig Arts fan? Do you like uh, more Gundam figures? Do you like build a, build your own figures? Do you like uh, Gashapon stuff? There's so many out there. Uh, Oh, okay, 
Okay, there we go. That one's safe. Good to go. Ah, what time is it? Already past nine. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the antibiotics. Uh, Dragon Ball, Sailor Boon, Mortal Kombat, I can name a lot. Oh, dude. Okay, so then Scorpion, I think, is coming out with a new figure and a stand from IGN or uh, Bandai IGN. Give me a sec. I want to find this for you. Uh, it looks really cool. Sailor Moon, there's been a ton of figures, of course. The, Shig uh, the SH Fig Art ones are really nice, and I want the color accurate, I think it's the anime version of Pluto. Oh, that'd be so sick. And have you seen the jerseys that they have over at Box Lunch? They have all five Sailor Scouts color-coded to, like, uh, their jerseys on the top. And I, for 5 times 5, 25, for 250 bucks, I would love to pick them up, but, dude, that's way too much. Uh, of course, if you had Box Lunch money, for every 30, you would get 15 off. So 30 goes into 250 uh, You would need eight Box Lunch monies to be able to make that somewhat decently priced i'll give you a hint you worked with my wife she sold you oh, okay yeah 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 my man good to see you um sell figures yeah no i remember you man good to see you how are you and your wife and your kids i need to share your uh your facebook page oh my god okay i'll be right back i gotta go get my antibiotics Okay, sorry about that. The change get a little toasty. I need to get a fan in here. Or I just need to turn the air conditioner on. There we go. It's not fully fully covered, but we're enough. Enough covered. <laughs> You've been hit with one of these. Alright, um So yes, always glad to see you in the chat. Especially as their first time here, dude. Nice. Definitely hoping to uh, build it up a little bit more with the uh, with the crew and the people that are coming on in. Now we're gonna get to the big stuff. Uh, okay, first off, we're gonna get. We got you set. I can actually leave both of you wigs in this bag this way mm. that's organized so that's not bad and we have you as trash gotta stay organized uh here we go get rid of mm, that's a good bag actually sunglasses bag that's my dad's information do not want to mess that up. And now, let's see the big box. Let's see. There we go. If we wanted to do it fancy, we should do it better. Maybe a special sword. No, 
now it should be open. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Already fancy. Now, because of the slash was so perfect, any boxes on the inside have already also been trashed. So, we will take off our protective barrier, number one. I'm also blind, so let's see if you said anything. I'll give you a hint. Oh, no, we haven't said that. Okay. So, first, we go with the very first tiny, and we have Havoc. Havoc is a beast box that originally will transform from a box, beast mode, into a box. Hence the term beast boxes. And I like this particular one also because he's got that transparent blue. And that's one of my big main uh, wants and drives for these type of figures. And... Very excited. This one, if I'm not mistaken, also comes with a special edition. Yeah, right by the power of Grey Skull. We end up getting a blister box stand. It's a transformable stand, actually, which I think is pretty cool. And it looks like you can combo a couple of these together to make um, multiple stands, if you will, as it shows on the bottom, on the back. I guess if you were able to get other ones, which there is another flying one that I want, and it's gonna be hard to find now because it's a little pricey. It's a white owl, and I think that one would look super cool with this guy. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit both of you guys together with your Oh no, because this box is actually a little bit longer than that. Huh! Who would have thought? But that's not the main priority, or the main uh, visit from this one. No, no, no. We have something a little bit more chaotic, something a little bit more... Havoc, I guess you would say. And here... We have probably one of the biggest 52 toys that I've ever gotten before. It's got a one, two, three, four, five, six different accessories and a tool. It's Eagle and Raven, two different planes that can combine to form Icarus. And this is not like another one. Oh my god, these guys are huge. Look at that. Like... They're going to be able to transform into this big thing. So we have the big final combination version of Icarus, followed by what the plain versions are themselves. And those guys can transform, if I'm not mistaken, into their own unique planes. And they can transform into the little beast box version. So uh, I am excited. Uh, I need to start doing stuff with these things. Because, holy shit, dude, this feels too fancy for me to play with. Like, these are the kind of toys that I wish that I had growing up. I would see them, I would want them, and now this is it. <laughs> this is the toy, right? And now I get a chance to, to, to play with it, and I think this is what, the collector's edition? Yeah, the packaging, so I have it all set and nice and protected. Ooh. Okay. Excited. Very excited. Uh, definitely some good pickups. I am so happy with about 90% of what we had delivered today. Uh, well, everything that got delivered was amazing. The only ups ex upsetting part was I did not get my Mega Man Legends 2 splatter vinyl. So tomorrow I'm going to have to go and talk to the post office to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, because right now, Mega Man Legends 2 vinyl record, if we were to try to shop for it, okay, well, 
fifty seven. Um original one is forty three. The Mega Man Legends regular, okay. Mega Man Legends 2, Big Bad Toy Store, it is 64 bucks. That's pre-order, and it doesn't come out until April. So worst case scenario, what am I looking at that way? Worst case scenario, I can just add it to cart and sign in. So that way, at least this way, I can... Uh, I can possibly still be able to get it and not miss out on the off chance if I don't get it from the other ones. Oh no! No. Change that. I don't want two of them. I want one of them. Check out. No. Cart. Empty. Oh my god. Can you not make this challenging? Quantity, add to cart, one, yes, check out. Jesus. Change payment. There. On the off chance, if tomorrow doesn't work and I cannot get that, then boom. This way I can at least... Uh, is that from a Gundam series? What series is that? No! Um, the 52 Toys brand is who makes it. And what are the 52 toys? Do I have one that I can look at? No. They're all closed. Except for one. And I'm going to show it to you. So the 52 toys originally have the gimmick of being able to transform from cubes into other figures. And in this case, you have the BB-08GP Glacier. The first BB, I'm um, sorry, the first Beast Box or BB that I got. Personally, I love penguins. Secondly, it's blue. Thirdly, transparent? And I'm like, yes. And... Uh, let's see what it looks like. As you get the series, or the figures, you'll find that they usually come in like this. They'll have a little container that you can box them in, which are all stackable. So if you start getting more of your beast boxes, you'll be able to open it up, place your beast box inside, close it up, and start stacking depending on your display. In this particular node, you have four different penguins. One, two, three, and four. All have uh, adjustable parts. The, where is it? There you go. You can change the eye on the little bottom down here, which <laughs> I think is super cute. This one makes it look like it is uh, sliding. Uh, can I get the wing open? So, whew. this is your king penguin right there. So that way you can see all different types of penguins. And then from here, once you end up closing them, you would, I think it's right there. This one's lucky because they all connect by magnets and right down here you'll notice there's a small peg with a foot peg and all these guys just connect inside. So this is one of their simpler, extremely simpler uh, guys to transform and I could just push the head in and then boom but that's it it's just a simple cube kind of a thing i have the head up because i don't want to push it back down and this head portion would fold inside and then there's your cube but 
this one doesn't showcase, I should say, uh, how well these particular uh, figures look. Because, well, you know, it's pretty basic and this is just a small little... It's a penguin, right? Like, how, how much can you do with a penguin? Well, in my opinion, quite a bit. And these guys look amazing. Now, what I would like to start doing, and that's going to be going towards future ones, and that's going to, like I have purchased, I've got a few other beast boxes. I just haven't put the time aside into reviewing them, opening them, transforming them, and doing them all the fancy smancy stuff. And that's on me. And I've got quite a... F I got like seven of them now, with not even counting eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got twelve. I've got a good dozen, uh, which is not a good thing to say because I've only transformed one of the dozen. And ah, uh, my eyes. Ah, uh, that's okay. We're getting through there. And there we go. The the. <sighs> Okay, so if you go from that tiny, tiny, tiny penguin, which just had little four things connected, to a giant two-piece jet that's going to transform from one person and another person into two people. I mean, into a combiner. Oh my god. Like, I'm excited. So that should be something I'm going to take advantage of in this next couple of weeks, because I've got recovery time up till 18th. That's in seven days, so I need to see how much I can, how much content I can start working with through my stuff here. Taking advantage of some voice act, a uh, voice acting work. Make sure I've got um, just things in order, and uh, let me know if you find that figure. If there's anything that I keep an eye out, because there are stuff that I may not be a fan of, and if that's the case, and you're uh, gonna be a part of the crew. Um, I'll keep an eye out, and if there's anything that you're looking for, then boom, you know, I'll, I'll pass it your way. Uh, I'm not looking to be selfish, right? Those B7 figures remind me of the Saint Seiya figures when I try to build the armor alone, lol, careful with your eyes. Yeah, yeah, the, the Caballeros de Zodiacto uh, have the whole armor that can form into the shape of, like, the animal, or the figure. And I have one of the cloth ones, but it's a bronze, a uh, silver one, which was a fantastic gift from a friend. And I would love to review, but I need to get the time out of my butt and just do it, you know? Which is nice. So here we are. Uh, find out. Oh, God. Let's see. Somebody shared their post. Somebody recently liked it. Hey, we're back, baby. Oh, yeah, coming back again from Mexico. That was fun. I wouldn't wear those. Yes, so fancy. Good stuff. So that's still taking some time. Boom, he liked that one. Cool deal. Ah, good stuff, dude. Uh, and even then, that's the other cool thing, is that I need to get this reviewed. And I'm sure people are probably being like, what the hell did you just pull out of <laughs> what, Wilgus? Uh, and this is the Seiken sword from Kamen Rider Saber. And I love it. This thing is just powerful. You've got fun sound effects like some slashes. It comes with some sound effects of music, which I think is pretty cool. But for my friends, my colleagues, I will make sure that I will protect you, and I will rewrite that story that ends so peacefully and painfully. Or... Maybe there is a bigger world for us, but there'll be even bigger enemies ahead of that. And I won't let them stop us. Super corny. 
but we won't ever stop, right, baby? Now, I think the next one's a little bit more sad or dramatic. No. This is a little bit more epic. That sword. That power. Oh, wait a second. Can I get a nice, cool 3D effect? Get ready! Here we go! <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I love this thing. Uh, cause even the next song is one of like the main theme that it has in there too. If you wanted it to not be the fire sword and you wanted it to be the second person with a Sei Seiken Nagare sword, you can switch that and go with a new handle. Now you have the power of water. And if we wanted to unleash the power of a sacred book all at once with this sword. I think we might want to do it this way. Yeah! <laughs> I thought it was a uh, He-Man sword. What series is that from? No, not a He-Man sword. This is the main weapon from the Kamen Rider series, the second most recent series, Kamen Rider Saber. And it involves ten sacred swords that protect the world amongst other stories that you uh, are able to read, like Jack and the Beanstalk, The Three Little Pigs, um, amongst others. The third saber is the lightning one. And this guy, actually, if you end up holding the button down, and starting uh, it fresh, you'll get a new sound effect. That's a lie. And that's the third character uh, whom does that voice. So now if I slash, it'll do the character sound and then the blade. So you'll get something like... At which point, then, you still have all sorts of different swords and books that are in here. I can press this ten times, and it'll be a tenth book. Genbun is going to be the silver. That's another one from the uh, Gekido, big giant sword. Ninja. The three pigs. Hansel and uh, Hansel and Gretel, the kids who get through the gingerbread house. Brave. Draku Dragon is that dark purple. <laughs> I love this thing. Uh, it is definitely going to be a piece of something that I'm going to do for a, a cosplay shoot at some point this year. I'm going to be doing some interesting, interesting stuff, actually. And I cannot wait to share it with so many of y'all. Because uh, you're just so happy about it. You're, uh, you're supportive. You're there. Uh, 
I like to throw that jab in to certain people because they would complain and complain about making stuff but never put anything out there. So how can you enjoy my products if I'm not putting it out there? Like, it's kind of hard to buy something if you ain't selling it. And so, you know, some people are starting to, and that's cool. Good on them. Uh, but I don't care anymore. What I am happy about is y'all are getting a chance to see what I've been looking forward to doing. I just noticed this Mega Monster Battle Ultra Galaxy Legend SH Fig Arts Brothers Mantle. And it looks just like a red cape. And it, if it fits like uh, Fig Arts characters, uh, $50 for an accessory on a toy sounds pretty bad. But I could use it, and that's not bad. Um, so we'll see. Definitely. Oh, oh this is interesting. Wow. Okay. Curious stuff. But I think that's about it. That's the... What are we at right now? An hour eight? Okay. That's an hour eight of me being on. I did have about 15-ish minutes prior to this where I put on the uh, eye drops. So my eyes aren't killing me too bad. But I will say that they are pretty dry right now. Benefit was we got some... Um, wigs on that I thought were really cool. I'm going to have to review the video here to see what they looked like. And we had some more fun people in the chat. That was exciting. Uh, I cannot wait to look at Icarus. I did hear one issue about this is that the figure actually kind of breaks apart a little bit easy, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> I mean... First and foremost, my biggest thing about this is that it reminds me of Macross Plus, the YF-19. Then you've got Transformers Starscream. Um, then you've got Combiners. Then you've got it, the fact that it's not Transformers and it's something completely different. Uh, like, there is so much about this that I'm so excited to try to look forward to doing. I think they turn into their own figures by themselves. And if not, well then do. They're going to just be one giant figure all the time. Maybe I'll build this on stream tomorrow. That would be fun. Uh, I've still got models that I need to build, but that one might be a little bit more hard visual for me. But, ooh, what's this? Eagle, code 5. A and B it has something there. And then C, D, E, F connects into that. Oh, maybe this is how you combine them into like one giant jet? So maybe there were two jets, then one giant jet, and then... Or maybe that's how the jets break apart, and originally they're just jets, and then you're supposed to put them together. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll leave that for a video later. Because... It's 9.42, and I don't know... I mean, I kind of want to already open it. And it's a little hard to not... You know, to stop and like, oh, oh, I mean, look, it's already, it's not like it's fully sealed. I mean, I can just cut this open and then we can just slide it out of there. Ooh, let's see. It. Let's do it. I've got here. Scissors. Well, maybe I don't need to cut that. Hmm. 
Okay. That one either. But here we go. <laughs> oh wait, no, I still need the knife. Open you up from... Ledge it up on the box up at the top. Okay, we'll open you up from there then. Since that's where you're already... Let's see. Okay, okay, so we're gonna slightly bend you there. What do we got? We've got what looks to be instructions. I don't need those. We've got... Hold the PVC card probably for the sleeve on the inside. Okay, we'll look at those things later. What's this? Scan the QR code via WeChat to the Box Universe and sign up for the greeting gift. I should probably start doing that. This is the other thing, is I need to start finding somebody to act as an in-between person so that way I can get the collector's box thingy and... Dude, look at these instructions. So, uh... This is gonna be a bit... <laughs> wow. What's that? Three, 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 three in the three millimeter, three and a four, three and a five, four and a five, five and a five, five and a five accessory tool. Code five and six. Oh my god, dude, this is going to be... I'm gonna need space to be able to, like, transform this thing. But I want to see it outside the box first. I can smell the Chinese plastic. Oh my god. Is that where this is from? Beijing? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, this is like not even a plane. It's like the shell of a plane. Okay, on the outside, this looks amazing. You got a badass looking jet. And then as it comes through, I mean on the inside actually, on the outside, or here, if, it were, if we're flying in and you saw that, that does look, let's make it like a, like a, a swoop up. Okay, minus the uh, big hole right there, which I'm sure we can kind of argue that has a uh, aerodynamicness. Dude, I like the vents right here, though. Like, the legs look like... Oh, and he's got ears! <laughs> oh, are you sad? Are you happy? Now he's, now he's focus mode. <laughs> Fast as fuck, boy. Now, uh, cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is okay. Different. Uh, feels. It feels super light. But then again, sturdy. I am. I am very surprised. Holy shit! That thing is stained together. And I think it's got a peg right here. It's not one of those toys where you're going to, like, balance on it, which would be kind of cool. But, that is... Wow, dude. Okay, surprise number one. And then we come back over here to number two, where... I'm kind of scared to shake it again. Okay, we got your ears we can cover. Cover ears, child. You don't want to hear what's going to happen. I even got missiles? Dude, look. I got missiles on this thing. It's similar to building a Metal Gear? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I have a fi Okay. We... 
Hinge. Okay, so that's meant to change. Okay. It did scare me there for a second, but that was meant to- Dude, look at this detail! Like, I will say... This thing has got beautiful painting. Like, this highlighter pink looks super sweet. I wonder if the cockpit can open. I don't think the cockpit can open. But I can open up that, and I can pull out landing gear. Oh my god, we've got landing gear, and I think those are fingers. Pressing and pulling stuff. But dude, this has got definite... YF-19, Macross Plus vibes. Look at that, dude. Wow, okay, let's get both of them together. Can we get both in a shot? Like a flyby. Oh! Dude! Okay. They feel thin, they feel feel like they're going to break but like i said dude i can probably just throw this thing like a ninja star and oh look at its wings it goes into even faster mode oh my gosh dude i'm gonna have so much fun trying to figure this out okay and I get two boxes, which I can show you. You can just stack them on top of each other, and then you just keep adding, adding, and adding more and more beast boxes. So when you're ready, you can be able just to blop, blop, and pull out whichever one you wanted, and then you can display them. And I think that's a super cool feature that you, I mean, and understand too. This is gonna fit in this. And so that'll probably be better. Okay. This box is gonna house this plane. Then, this plane is gonna fit in this box. Or, later on, they're going to combine to form a whole nother thing. Oh my god, Beast Box, you guys are something else, man. Like, this, I feel, is one of their biggest kind of pieces that they've ever done. I don't think they've ever done anything this big before. No, that's a lie. They've done uh, combiner stuff before that I haven't messed with. The other one that I have up there it requires two of the same model, and they're monkeys. And that's that's gonna be cool because then I'm gonna have like monkeys versus airplane. Oh, I just gotta start doing it, and I have to display them, and then I've gotta just keep doing stuff with it. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my god. Thank you everyone for showing up. I cannot tell you how happy I am to share this with y'all. Um, keep notified on the subscriptions so this way you all will be able to know whenever I go online live and you won't miss out on whenever I do something like this as well as... Oh, I see what happened. They probably pushed that in. It's already been opened. So that one gets pulled apart, pulled apart, and then those guys are going to combine. Uh, okay. And dude, I haven't... <laughs> and see, then so funny. Because then you just go over here to this thing, and it's just like a bird. Which is kind of cool, actually. I mean, that, the, those are these are both metal birds. 
but like oh it's the beast box fifth anniversary oh i didn't notice that that's cool um now i'm gonna have like a pterodactyl version and then i can transform it into uh an actual bird mode to make it look like it got powered up which could be interesting i can use one of my blue jewels so i can make it look like oh man this ancient flying pterodactyl found a, an ancient gem and after so long got turned into fuel to power a new faster bird it's similar to building yeah dude oh i love you 52 toys press down linkage mechanism oh yeah this thing can flap like wings I'm excited. I am very lucky. And I am super thankful for my family to have helped me get to this point. I have been a challenge to this point. Uh, not all the time, but enough. And many friends have seen me at my highest and were in my closest. And that's not bad, but it's hard because that's not who we are 24-7. And that's a hard thing to realize because we always want to be that person that somebody can rely on or somebody, like in my case, like I want to be your hero. I don't want to be somebody that you can't rely on. I want to fix everybody's problems and help everybody out and do everything that I can. But I've learned you can't do that. And what's the, uh, what's the bad guy saying from, uh, the bad guy saying, uh, break it, Ralph, but I gotta replace it. I, okay, so I am hero. I am a hero, and that's good. I'll never be perfect, and that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be than me. I'm bad, and that's good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be than me. <laughs> you are a bad guy, but does that not mean you are a bad guy? <laughs> and oh dude seriously so many of these motivational quotes can apply so well to our lives and it's true because we minus the fancy characters and everything it really is just like a rendition of everything that we're trying to muster through and I'm glad that you all are here to share that boost me up, remind me, and take apart and take away from what we're doing uh, together. I've lost some people up to this point, and that's fine. i am gained a ton of new people, and that's cool. It's not the reason for it. Uh, getting a chance to share this stuff and enjoying something that i've wanted to do for a very long time is amazing and the fact that you all get a chance to be a part of that is even cooler you have questions i'll get to answer them if there's something i can help you with right on why not uh it's really fun to do this and i missed it while i was gone out in uh in mexico and Your help and not only that, just effort. It's going to be even better. Going into April, May. I mean, we're already in April. We're April 11th. So, um, cross your fingers, everyone, to hope that some shipments start coming in. Uh, I am so scared to try to transform this thing. This thing looks like. like it's going to have some pretty cool articulation, but oh my god, how do you transition and jump away from really motivational messes just to Transformer Toys? Uh, easy. Tough. So, I think with that, I'll leave it there because it's what? It's already 10. 
my eyes are closing it, and I think that's a good point. An hour and a half ain't too shabby. We might try some Elden Ring next time. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. But I'm happy with what we were able to pick up today. I'm happy that people and new friends, old faces, were able to show up and, uh, we got some fun cosplay stuff, of all things. Um, regular Gojo worked out cool. The original Gojo was a challenge, I think, again, when I go relook at the video. And the, I love the blindfold too, so that's super sweet. Good things coming. Good things coming. So with that, I think I'm gonna dip on out, everyone. So you have a great rest of your night. Keep notified for upcoming videos. This one should be popping up on my YouTube very soon. And I've got a lot of YouTube videos I need to throw up there too because I totally uh, should have paced out more Elden Ring stuff for you to watch. But it's a lot to watch. So whatever you can, it helps the video. It helps the channel. We are, I think, 170 followers on YouTube now. So close to 20% on the following numbers for the year. Watch time, I think we're close to over 400, so we should be hitting 10% on that as well. So we're a little skew with some numbers, but I like it. It's building. Uh, so thank you again for everyone, uh, your participation. More things coming, Doctor Strange, uh, more anime, more manga, more Transformers, more fun. See you soon, everybody. Thanks again, crew.